Our goal for the day's advisory is to make an image or a collage or a picture that represents your goals for the year. So you're going to choose a theme and represent that theme in an image that's going to go on the front of your portfolio. Your effort will control how well this works for you. So start with a goal. To turn that goal into an image, you're going to have to brainstorm. Your brainstorming is going to take the form of thinking of things that represent your ideas. For instance, let's say that you have a goal. You want to represent that goal with some images. So you're going to start thinking, how would it feel to reach this goal? What things would I see if I close my eyes and envision myself achieving this goal? What other things would I smell or see or feel like or color in? Things that we are going to use include our memories and include uh, general representations of our ideas. So for instance, let's say we have a goal. My goal for this year is going to be focus. So I start by writing focus in the middle of my page. After I write my main goal and idea, I want to represent that idea with things that are connected to it. So when I feel focused, at the end of the year I think I'll feel accomplished. I'll also be calmer if I stay focused. And I want to think of things that make me feel accomplished, like a blue pinstripe suit, a really, really expensive one. Uh, or things that make me feel calm, like relaxing on a beach with the ocean and the sound of ocean waves. What I'm trying to do is visualize and give myself things to see so that I have images to put on my portfolio cover. If I feel focused, I think I'm going to have to do some things to promote myself to feeling focused, like working at a desk at home instead of working on a couch at home. I think I'm going to have to do things like rest a lot and get help from people and study in my books. So writing down the goal is not just the only thing you're doing, you're writing down the things that will help you reach that goal, and then you're also writing down the things that you're going to have to do in order to support yourself in reaching that goal. And then you can also write down the things like the blue pinstripe suit and the ocean and the beach that you feel like you'll achieve if you reach your goal throughout the year. So I've uh, thought of desk and I've thought of uh, a little bed to sleep in. Now I can doodle images that represent my ideas and once I feel confident that I know what I'm doing I can think about me and how I want to represent myself in this goal. After I've thought about me for a while, I can take a sheet of paper, I can doodle the things that I've written down, like the pinstripe suit, the desk, the bed, the ocean and the beach, and me. It might look something like this. A little picture of me, my main word that is my goal for the year, a little graduation cap that I'm going to have after I stay focused throughout the entire year. Uh, perhaps my bed, my desk, my time management. The things that I thought of represented this way. There's other ways to represent these ideas though, which could look like abstract images, color, shapes that make you feel focused, pencil on black paper, or a collage where instead of drawing the things that you thought of, you tape them down. Using a collage or using the abstract image can really relieve you if you're nervous about drawing something that looks good, quote unquote. A collage can also give you the option of putting many different ideas down and uh, gaining them not from your drawing but from other sources. Using colored pencil or pastel on black paper can be compelling and look really good. Mixed media can also be good. Using drawings mixed with quotes that you might cut out, mixed with images you might find in a collage, can make a safe way to put a really interesting image together. So here are your steps. You want to start by caring a lot. Then brainstorm your idea, make a rough sketch, use a medium that you're comfortable with, and carefully put your image into your portfolio. Good luck and have fun.